Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to work with icons in your Expo React Native app. So the icons are automatically installed just with the default Expo app and so you've got a few icons that you can use like Font Awesome, Ant Design, Evil Icons and all these things that you can see here um, in the node modules. Um, but you can also sort of add your own. Uh, I'm going to show you a bit about how to work with some of the existing ones. So I will show you how to use um, Evil Icons, Ionic Icons, and um, Font Awesome. So you're just going to import from Expo slash Vector Icon slash whatever icon you want to work with. So Ion Icons or Font Awesome Icons, um, Evil Icons is what I'm going to be working with today. I skipped me importing all the different icons just because I don't think it's that useful to see. So now I'm going to go ahead and add them to my main um, app. I'm going to just specify that I want a Font Awesome component. I'm going to give that a name, which is going to be the name of the icon style. So I'm going to use Facebook for this one. You can specify color and size and things like that as well. So you can see that's quite small. So I can go ahead and specify a size. And once I go ahead and save that, you can see it's reflecting that size. And I can change the color if I want to as well. And when I save that, the color is reflected by the icon. If you want to know what sort of name to use to reflect what sort of icon you want, you can actually go to the website for the particular icon pack. So there's Evil Icon, Font Awesome, Ion Icons, and you can just sort of find the icon you want to use and just specify that name. So say I want the chart icon from Evil Icons, I would specify that name. I can give it a size and a color. It can be whatever I want. I'm just going to keep it size 32 this time, and I'm going to make it red. You can see that the icon's showing up. And I can do the exact same thing for ion icons. Once again, just would have to go to the site to find the particular icon I'm interested in using. Then you can just scroll through and select one and go with that. I'm going to make this one a bit bigger just to sort of demonstrate that. You can see that it's a bit larger there. You can actually also um, make these icons into buttons. So like any component, you can put this on press and when you press on it, it's going to go ahead and call the function that you pass in. So I'm going to console log um, that I've pressed on the plane. And I can do that without this being a button, but it just won't give me any sort of UI feedback if I do that that way. So I've got the terminal open. You can see that it's not really giving me much UI feedback, but I can press on that. Um, but if I go dot button on the component, it turns it into a nice little button. You can see that it's got like a background color and you can change that background color if you want to as well. So now if I press it just looks a little bit more button-like, it looks a bit nicer and this is how you can create nice icon buttons. I can do the same with the um, evil icons and font awesome icons or any of the included icons that um, is provided by the vector icons that Expo has installed by default. I'm just going to show you that I can press on I can add that sort of to any sort of um, icon. So I'm going to do it for Font Awesome as well. You can see it's got that 
blue background. When I go click it, it says that Facebook is pressed. If I want to, I can add some styling as well to the um, button. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. So you can see that styling has been applied to that button. You can also specify the background color of the um, button. So you can just do that using the background color property of the um, icon button component. So you can see this button is now green. And if I open up that terminal and click, it still would be showing that Facebook pressed. You can also add a label to the buttons and that's going to make that appear a bit nicer um, and give the user more of an idea of what the button's supposed to do. You can do that by just putting text in between the open and closing tags of the button. So you can see I've got this book a flight button with a label now and when I click on it, it would say plane press. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.